Well, after a long, grueling process, I finally got my mic to work. And there's a chance I could just jog it and it would get back to a big buzzing again. But I'll try my best not to do that. Today, I'm going to be talking about a criminally underrated character, Casper. I've already done. <laughs> I've done. I've already recorded a video. Recorded. I already tried to record a video. And my mic would just suddenly didn't want to work, wanted to buzz, buzz, buzz. But we're here, talking about a character super powerful and normalizes. <clears throat> He's got buff after buff after buff. And gone from a character that you just like, oh, they're bad, to, hmm, maybe, actually pretty solid. I think. Oh. I think that you should play, Cashby. If you're looking for me, and you play a bit of guitars, or you play a bit of godless, he's a good choice. But really, I genuinely think he's a good choice now. His sigs are cracked, <laughs> they are crazy. And overall, as a character, oh damn. And overall, as a character, he is pretty. He's pretty good. There we go. Um, but yeah, solid character. Make sure to subscribe to me. I'm gonna say this every single video. If I hit 10k by Christmas, I will do a face reel and write a brahada rap. I just hit 7k. I can't thank you guys enough. Like actually, I don't think I could thank you guys enough. I don't think you understand what it means to me. But. Please die there, no. But yeah, I wanna I wanna hit that 10k mark by Christmas. That'd be the best Christmas present. Everyone, not anyone, <laughs> because there's 10,000 of you, could have got me. Anyway, today I'm talking about the character of no spacing. <laughs> Cashman. You do need spacing, yeah, but not the long range short spacing that everyone thinks of. Cashman, yep. He oh here we go. Has got so many buffs over the last months that he has actually turned into a good character. Like slowly but surely, they've buffed systematically buffed each one of his signatures to finally make him a good character. Stats perfect, beautiful stats. That that five decks is the perfect stat you can have on uh, Tatars. If you didn't know, Tatars has a true combo at five decks. The thing that makes it solid is that 7 damage and that high speed. That solid damage makes for a very, very hard to be character. Like... Caspin, 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 Caspin. That 7 damage right here. This... It's just... Ooh, it's an extra bit of icing on top. The 4 defense, yeah, you can get rid of it. You can go 6 damage, 5 defense. If you were looking for a wet, uh, more well-rounded... Uh, set of stats, but I like that 7 damage, getting all these hits, especially with the Katars and Gauntlets, which have the uh, very high damage and string potential. Getting that extra damage per hit is mad. His SIGs, whoo! Like, he's got the range, he's got the disjoints with his SIGs, which he misses out from having two close range weapons. I think the best two SIGs are side and end SIG on Katars. Followed closely by Dancing on Gauntlets. Dancing on Gauntlets used to be absolutely terrible, and now it's su uh, uber fast, like way too fast. Cheeky dodge out breed. I think the end sig on. The NSIG on Gauntlets is also underrated. And he could didn't double D like me there. Got cocky. Thought I was dead. I'm alive. But you know the classic Ryan, the big skill, the big down six coming out left and right. They go high. He's gonna play his cool lance with his cool skills, you know.
Okay, a little ground pound then. See, matches like this. Uh, they seem very hard to catch. Like, How do you get in, you know? He's got this range. But I mean, when you get in, you're rocking seven damage gauntlets, you know? When you play more cashmen, you would find ways to get in, find ways to approach. And then when you're in, it's you're like a like a a mosquito. <laughs> Hard to get off you, you know, it just keeps doing uh keeps being annoying for ages. And that is cashmen, except with that seven damage a mosquito, it hits like a truck. Like I found those two pieces. And they do the damage of like three pieces. I find the SIGs. They got high force. And Gauntless not Gauntless, no, don't show too. Katar struggles to kill. This character would struggle to kill, but then you have SIGs like this and SIG, which you just throw out after an end light and like there's like a fifty percent chance they just die. And then if they don't, you know, you don't have to do anything after that. You just it's so quick that you just can't don't really get punished. Like it's ridiculous. The <laughs> The ability to rack up damage and find these kills is insane. And he is flying under the radar. In tier list, I've seen him being placed low just because he was bad. But give this character a look. Open your eyes, you know. Ignore the fact that people think his weapons do the same thing. I personally think Katars and Gauntlets are very different weapons. Yes, they're both small, but they do significantly different things. Gauntlets looks always high damage true combos and gems. <clears throat> Whereas Katars looks for those for playing that very solid neutral game that it has. And when you do get a combo, a string, you know, you can lead to death off it. I think that a great weapon. Is, uh, I think that Katar's in there and Gorn in there. Both an amazing work moves, but are significantly different and used in different ways. And just because he has two small weapons doesn't mean, you know, you learn how to approach with both these weapons. Oh no. And you learn just techniques to stay near your opponent without getting hit after playing the character flop. And I feel like he's someone who's mastered. Caspin can stomp people. Like, I think that this SIG is competing for the best anti -airs. It is rapid, amazing force, and very unpunishable. And there's this disconnect. Bit rude, I personally think. Disconnecting just because I hit you with a few ends. You know, people be like that. We're gonna we're gonna be practicing these zero to death. And that's stuff that Katars can do if you're not really paying attention. Even though it's against the bot. If someone gets caught, you no know, gets two dodges caught, they die against Katars. I think. Whereas Gauntlet, you don't really have that. You have the gim, but on stage, you know, you don't really have that option to just keep going against an enemy. It's a bit rusty, you've got to practice those in the new patch. GG's, even though he DC'd straight away, you don't love to see it, but we'll get the next game, we're gonna dominate, change the colour a bit maybe, and change up some of this weaponry, but I think that Caspin is slapped, on. and even when I'm thinking of character, it's just, why, like, some characters in this game are like, why does no one play them? Why do people think they're bad? There are characters like that. And Casper never comes to mind. Because I just think he's that. I just thought he was actually bad. Hopped in the game with him. For a challenge, I think. And oof, I found myself destroying people. And then I was like, oh, this isn't because they're bad. This is because this character is actually pretty solid. His sigs now are actually like proper strong. I think like his guitar kit, yeah, like is arguable, but it's better than like you know Azuri guitar kit, for example. This sig, yeah, it used to be it used to be trash. You use it, get punished, die. Now it's quicker, and it's it's uh it's recovers in less time. And sig, 
you know, they made it faster, come out quicker. I think it's 13 frames or something now. Ridiculous. Side sig, they gave it a force buff ages ago. Down sig, they made it quicker. They just love buffing his sigs. And that's because uh, on Cashman, you need to have sigs with range, which maybe fill the gap that not have any range chats because yeah it's all fun and games to play aggressive but when it comes down to it having weapons of range is always nice but not necessary just nice oh oh see i knew the guitar now was coming so i had to do a little fade away from the same guitar string there oh that was meant to be okay Okay. Okay. Ooh, damn. Almost. Almost. Yeah, I think you guys, give him a try. Give him a try. Trust me. If you've been playing Brawl for ages, you'll be very surprised. If you haven't played him in, like, a couple patches, yeah? You'll be utterly surprised at the speed of his sigs. Like, stuff like I got here the other day, nah. Like a ground in there that sent me horizontally into side stick. No, into down stick. And I was like, whoa, 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 what just happened to me? I'm gonna try and do it. I'm gonna try and do it to him here. If I can if I can land a nice kid. I got hit with something like that, right? But it was it was a lot faster than that. It was like instant. I hit my ground in there. Literally dash jump into me with a ground in there. And then down stick. Some they dash back and do it. Like, I actually think this SIG is good now. It's a very weird SIG, very peculiar. But off stage, you know, you can use it to cover the place where people stand to edge guard you. And use it as a mix up tool that not many other characters have. Any up movement in SIG is automatically makes it a bit freaky. GG's to this guy. Anyway, I do thank you for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you subbed. I want to. I want to do that face reveal. Want to? Want to hit that ten k by Christmas? I know. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Remember, got to try out Caspian.